What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And for this video, I wanna talk about one of my favorite tools, GitLab. Now GitLab is the most popular open source software for managing your DevOps workflows and getting visibility on all your projects. And it's honestly been my go-to for anything when I'm doing any side project, any startup. I pretty much use that at every company except my current one. We currently use GitHub with some other tools that accomplish the same thing. But I wanna talk about why GitLab is awesome. Not sponsored by them by no means, this is truly a fan. So let's break down why GitLab is awesome. First, we need to talk about DevOps. And understanding GitLab means understanding DevOps. Much of the tedious process of building software is actually what happens after you write the code. Testing that code to make sure it's going to work for your users and then actually getting it out there in the wild and monitoring it to make sure it's performing well, that's all part of the process. So when referring to DevOps, there are three pieces we need to understand. There's CI or continuous integration, testing your code frequently, CD or continuous deployment, deploying your code frequently, application performance monitoring keeping an eye on your app performance. So imagine you have been given a task to write a new feature, you've done a great job, you coded up, and now what? There's really two things left. You need to merge that code into the rest of the code base, including testing it heavily across a few dimensions, make sure you don't break anything. Second, you need to push that updated code base. Finally, once it's out in the wild, you need to make sure it performs well, which is again, the CI, CD, APM part of it. This is basically what DevOps is. And let me just, let me just put this out there. When you you Google DevOps, when you talk to people about DevOps, there's a lot of permutations on what DevOps is. Some say it's a philosophy, some say it's a series of tools, a process. You, But for this video, we are really saying DevOps and how it relates to workflows and tooling, which is why we think GitLab is a great tool for anything DevOps related. Now, depending on where you work, let's say for issue tracking, where we keep track of our bugs and our tickets, you might use Jira, Monday, Asana. For source control, you might be hosting your code. So you might use GitHub, you might use Bitbucket, you might use GitLab, you might use something different. For CI, CD, testing and exploring your code, there are too many tools to name, to be honest with you guys, but there are CI, Jenkins, there's Hardness, there's JFrog, there's Argo. There's a lot of tools that do that piece. For all the people hitting me up on LinkedIn. No, I'm not interested in using your tool right now, but for monitoring, there are popular ones like Datadog, Grafana, New Relic, and the list goes on and on. Most companies use multiple tools to avoid vendor lock-in. GitLab's take is you should be doing all of this in one platform and consolidate your stack. GitLab, in my opinion, is great if you're a startup, if you're a smaller org, or you don't have a lot of moving pieces, you don't have a lot of resources, because GitLab is really all about giving you everything you need to get started. Again, you can use GitLab for issue tracking. So similar to Jira, you can make tickets and you can create bugs and you can organize it and you have a backlog. The way I've always used GitLab is mainly for version control. You can use it to manage your code repository, handle merging and changes from your team, similar to GitHub, but I've always liked the UI of GitLab over GitHub. That's just a personal preference. And remember, the actual application code is hosted on GitLab servers and developers pull local copies of that code onto their laptops to develop new features or bugs. But what I do like about GitLab is it provides a utility for packaging and storing any dependency that the application relies on. So we're talking about packages, container registry. Most teams use packet managers like NPM. For more mission critical applications with larger packages, teams will use something like GitLab to store and host those packages. You can do the same thing on other platforms, but GitLab is a one-stop shop. CICD, I just love the CICD on GitLab because you can actually build out the steps. You can create the YAML file and it's really nice visual to see like things moving from left to right where it's building, it's testing, it's deploying. Maybe you have different environments where you have a stage and a production. Maybe something needs to happen before you go to production. Maybe you want to add an additional, yes, I've tested it, I looked at it, hit the button and go to prod. GitLab gives you those types of capabilities. And lastly, you can do monitoring. Now, GitLab, I will be honest, it doesn't necessarily have maybe the same features as like a Datadog or a New Relic, but it is available. And for most people starting off, it offers plenty for at least most to get started. Some closing notes, GitLab to me has really found its way to get into organizations that are trying to do a lot of different things, but want some customization, to be 
behind it and it gives them the flexibility to say, hey, you can do everything on GitLab. It really is a one-stop shop for everything you probably need to get started on your application. But what did we miss? What questions do you have? Am I completely wrong? Is GitHub superior to GitLab? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I got. Tech out.